What exactly is going on at Gigafactory Berlin? What is the holdup? What is taking so long? Was I right about my conspiracy theory? I know some of you poo-pooed that. You said I was crazy. It was just a theory. Could there have been some validity to it? I don't know, but here's what's going on and here's what I think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Great to have you here on the channel. It's Melbourne, Australia, where I'm at right now, baby. And it is 12.49 a.m. here on a beautiful night. It's beautiful outside. It's about 15 degrees Celsius. The world is honestly getting better every day. Every day. That's what I firmly believe. And I think that Germany right now is putting a little spanner in the works of the electric mobility, the electric transformation globally. It's sad to see, but here is what's happening with Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin. As you know, the plant hasn't received the necessary permits yet to begin operation. They are currently manufacturing vehicles, as we can see from other videos that I've made showing vehicles, many hundreds of them sitting in the parking lot right now. However, Tesla already reports that Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin could get the official green light to begin production in mid-March, a new report from Brandenburg News Outlet says. The report suggests Tesla will not receive approval to begin production until mid-March. What's that, about a month away? Five weeks away? At the earliest, at the earliest, as the plant is still awaiting approval. The approval has been delayed on several occasions, most recently for the still ongoing safety precaution examinations that are being performed. So obviously these safety precaution examinations are taking weeks. I'm not really sure why that is, but yeah. Tesla has reportedly changed quantities of certain chemicals, which may be a holdup in the process as well. Additionally, officials have not discussed plans for wastewater cleanup. Here's the quote, which was put through Google Translate from the original German. Tesla had repeatedly changed quantities of toxic chemicals that could leak in accidents. The officials also have yet to assess Tesla's plans for cleaning up wastewater. Only then can the plant receive the necessary permits. It does have to make you think, maybe they should have built this factory in Poland. To be honest with you, before they even announced this factory is going to be built in, in Berlin, and they said they were going to build a factory in, in Europe somewhere, I thought, oh, there's a couple of great countries for that. Germany wasn't one of the countries that came to my mind, to tell you the truth. And once they announced it was in Germany, I thought to myself, you know, I remember when there was an airport in Germany and it didn't take them all that long to build it, but it took them 21 years to get approval. 21 years. That kind of puts paid to my conspiracy theories, doesn't it? Around legacy auto, around Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes colluding. Well, they have colluded. Don't get me wrong. There is proof they have colluded. They, in fact, paid fines for collusion on a number of occasions. But it does put paid to my theory that there's evidence that they're colluding together to stop the factory from opening. I'm not saying that that hasn't happened. But if it takes that long to open an airport, then this, this amount of time is certainly not out of the ordinary for Germany, regardless of the fact that it's Tesla, an American company. That really m might not even play into it at all. This could just be the, the normal way that things happen in Germany. Finally, Tesla has still not received an operating license, which will be granted after the plant receives approval, but who knows how long that one will take. Tesla planned to start initial production at Giga Berlin last summer, but several delays in the bureaucratic process and lawsuits withheld the factory's ultimate approval. Now, I did talk about one of the lawsuits. I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about that lawsuit because, frankly, it is a bit weird that Volkswagen have been funding the company that put the lawsuit in place for the last five years. Funding them for five, it might have been 10 years. Either five or 10 years they've been funding that, that so-called environmental group, which I think is a front for oil and gas interests. And just coincidentally, that's the, biz, that's the company that has sued Tesla or tried to prevent this the most. It does seem weird, doesn't it? To be honest, it does seem like a strange coincidence. That company could have been funded by anyone other than Volkswagen. Anyway, Tesla executives admitted during the Q3 2021 earnings call that they did not expect either Gigafactory Berlin or Gigafactory Texas to begin production by the end of 2021. 
Instead, CFO Zachary Kirkhorn stated that expectations were to have each factory up and running in early 2022. During the recently held Q4 2021 earnings call, Elon Musk stated that both factories were awaiting approval from various government agencies to begin production. However, it sounded as if the Tesla factory was closer to production than the Berlin plant. Now, Tesla Rati says that production has already started at both factories, but Tesla cannot deliver any of those vehicles until the factories receive certain approvals. For example, Tesla is waiting on the final certification of the Model Y in Texas, which appears to be one of the final steps before the company can actually start shipping cars. I think that could happen within a matter of days. And as you know, there's a whole lot of Tesla Model Ys right now sitting in the parking, the enormous parking lot at Gigafactory Texas, which have been built with Giga castings, structural battery packs, and 4680 cells. Going to be really exciting to see a tear down of one of those vehicles by Sandy Munro. I'm imagining they're going to be first. I'm imagining they're going to be hoping to be the first to get one off the production line. As soon as it comes off, or as soon as it comes out of that car park after it's been approved, hopefully we see those guys tearing it down. In regards to approvals at the Berlin factory, the meeting to discuss the Eggersdorf Waterworks, which received approval to pump more water, has been delayed once again. Brandenburg State Environment Minister. Axel Vogel recently stated that approved increased water pumping rates were not affecting drinking water quality or at all Tesla's water supply. And that's a good thing considering there is a mine down the road that uses 141 times more water than Tesla's factory does. In fact, it's a basically a stripping mine and it's destroying the environment. It should be shut down. It's a joke. I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about that as well. So we're hearing, right, rumors that approval is coming in March. We know Tesla's already building cars at this factory, but we're hearing approval, official approval is coming in March. But the question is March of what year? <laughs> in all seriousness, what is wrong with Germany? Seriously, I mean, it doesn't add up to me. I understand getting permits and approvals and processes, and that's all fair enough, but this is taking a long, long time. Way longer than what really they need to have to make all that happen. And the thing I don't understand is right now, Germans are buying cars from China. They're buying a lot of them because pretty much every Tesla vehicle being sold in Germany right now is being shipped from China. And the Chinese are about to hit Germany with a bunch of EVs as well, coming from BYD, coming from Xpeng, coming from NIO, coming from potentially other companies such as Leap Motor, WM Motor. At which point, these legacy auto manufacturers in Germany may, may, they may struggle to sell some of their gas-powered mobiles. They may wish they had approved Tesla's factory sooner because really, this factory is employing a lot of people. It's creating a lot of jobs in Germany. It's enabling Germans to buy more EVs which are built in Germany. And that, my friends, in my view, is a good thing and something the German government and the German people should all get behind. What this means right now is the longer that Germany delays the permitting process, the longer that Tesla will be flooding exports to the European Union from China and the United States. Both the EU and Germany are losing out on domestic production that could be bolstering their local and regional economies, economies and giving more people the access to EVs that they so badly want. Look at the waiting lists for so many different EVs in Europe. They're months and months and in some cases, years long. That's what, thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I'm just one person. You know, maybe I'm just frustrated. Are you frustrated? Or should we all just be patient? And Okay, what I want to hear from you, when do you think this permitting will happen? Let's see who gets it right. Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.